Oh yes, fans, I forgot to say, if you're watching this episode, um, or this series, really, um, just to watch, like, the LP, and you don't want to hear my voice for, like, the comedy of my hilariousness, if that isn't even a word, I'm gonna go, you know, more, anyways, um, I forgot to say, my other channel, Too Perfect Walkthrough, now has voiceless edited walkthrough that are really nice, nicely done, um, yeah, if you have some... Like, if you're just here to, like, figure out what something is, I really do suggest going there. Um, checking out that channel, because it does have what you need. And I did that for a reason, because that channel wasn't really made for comedy videos. It was mostly made to help people with games. Whereas, this channel actually was made for comedy videos, and I found it more important to put them on this channel. Because that's what people subscribe for, mostly. So... I started losing subs on something on LPs in this channel, and they all resubbed on that channel. And I was like, oh, come on, dude. Uh, so it's, so this channel doesn't have one video anymore. We subscribe for all the rest. I mean, they're still by me. They still have my sexy voice. Okay, down here is a crab. Yeah. Someone likes to, like, get out of the way. Where I don't want them to get... Yeah, I'm crazy today. I'm getting here. Do five notes in there. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Um, this is a little tip for you. Um, I started thinking of it as like a mystical type thing. Between the two trees, like I find the right trees first. This one's between these two trees. Um. You got to like behind it, the word is or whatever, got thing. Well, anyway, there's some kind of. Uh, what kind of there is a honeycomb right here, so. That's the first in the level. There's two in this level, of course. Um, just like every other level. Ah, oh, cheese and crackers. Just wait right there. Be honest, I actually crave that right now. Strangely enough! Oh, get back here. There we go. We have 60. 160, to be honest, because we have the ones from the last level. Um, a message to all N64 players of this game who are, pl like, who are playing right now, of course, who just got the game. Just be warned that the notes, you must get them all in one sitting. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Xbox users, um, they actually got smart, and they said considering the sequel, you could save the notes. Um, and you need red feathers to go higher. That's not much of a loss because you know we actually get you actually get a lot of red feathers as you go. Um, red feathers and blue eggs are like everywhere in this entire game. Well, every five seconds you'll probably find one or three in like one sitting. Usually like there. Usually they come in like sittings of three or five. Or they come in like rings like this. That's, that's a pretty good example. Of them. But we're just down here for the mumbo token. And... No, you can't search me. No. Uh, no, I, I... The reason I sounded kind of like... Stuttering kind of there, I said no. I am not stealing... A Tina Conroy quote, of all quotes. Because that is like... That is like using a quote from someone who is really famous. Oh, wait, I'm already doing that. My, my bad, that's, that's exactly what I was doing. Oh, sorry. Stupid me. There's an orange Jinjo right here. Um, pretty good job at hiding it, by the way. I didn't find that one the first time playing this game. I was lucky. And right here is the hardest Jiggy in the level, in my opinion, because of where it's hidden. Yeah, um, if you manage to find that without help, I have to say congratulations, because you're pretty good at finding Jiggy in this game. Um, you can find that one. I'm, you're pretty good to find the rest of the Jiggies in this game. Uh, that was a pretty hard one right there. Because they're pretty, they're pretty well hidden to, in the near the end. And they're about that well. And that's pretty much near the beginning. You're, gonna have, you're only going to have a one Jiggy that's really well hidden. But then near the end, about like eight or nine of them will be well hidden. And only like two will be like right in the open. And eventually you become like so well hidden. You're just like barely, you have like really... Like trouble, you have a lot of trouble finding them. 
talk properly today. And I'm gonna do a musical little dang. Dude. Cool. Hit that thing right there, and we'll go get the notes I missed. Um. What else is there I did recently? On recent news on my channels, I've managed to. Um. Get something like Mario based for my Super Big Walkie page at least. And covered it with stuff with Geo from Mario RPG. He's like the best character ever. Swim it! And we go this way. I don't like people love that character, and it's like they're always mad because he was taken out. But, um, he was only in there because he was one of the people who needed the help, and it only made sense to have one with you. And they're always arguing that, like, people like him are always taken out, but I don't understand. Like, I think it's Bobbery from Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. That was, like, an awesome character. Like, the awesomest, actually. And they just, like, take him away, and. Let's hit this and see what happens. Oh my gosh! Treasure chest! No, you're not. I'm using the wrong voice. I don't want to use NCS. Chuck Conroy's NCS. I always get NCS Chuck Conroy confused when I'm talking too fast. Okay, I will use NCS's voice. No! Ah, oh, crap. I usually. I usually. I believe it or not, I actually do it a lot better usually. Like, I get that identical voice. And, like, right now, I'm just like. No! A fake voice. It's funny. Give him his treasure real quick. I forgot to do that. Get over there. I uh, that feel only half of its gold. What? Who puts their gold in two separate areas of the ship? You just put it in one really well hidden area, and then no one will find it. Plus, I lose half the gold if someone finds it. And Banjo is really generous, by the way, because like Banjo was really generous to actually find all this gold. And give it back to the owner. I mean, there's like about like 20 gold ball, gold, gold balls. What the fuck? Gold bars total, and he's just like giving them all back to the pirate dude. Me treasure. Thank you, Mahdi's. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend, spend. Is this like a pirate or some kind of like grandma from a cartoon or something? Oh well. And we have 28? Dang, yeah, we're actually really far in this game. Okay, um... Yeah, right there is the token I'm going for. I'm gonna go for it. Swim for it, Banjo! Caught the admins. I'll be right over. Darn it, another one of my cravings. Oh well. Oh no, it's you again. No! Oh. And that is what he'll say if you manage to get bits. Uh. Well, can't you feel like it would be until you taste like crap? Go away, I'm not gonna eat you ever again. And there's a Jinjo I forgot to get because I have a problem with forgetting things. Get off there. <laughs> He's like re grabbing it. It's like, get off there. Grabs it again. Get off there. There's a Jiggy in there. That was a fail at hiding. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. That's a lie. The game is um, going to stay at the same difficulty. Don't think like the enemies are stronger or something. Uh, other than the fact that you don't have to go near him again. That's, that's new. <laughs> um, but no, you. nothing really changes. She just says that because she's pointing out the game's going to get harder as you go. Which I hope is true, because if it's not, this game would suck really bad. Because those first two levels sucked really bad. Yeah, Spiral Mountain and Mumbo is not really easy. And I'll do this part right here in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Pudding.